guys, this is Renee. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a three step thank you page, just like the one that you see here. Now let's talk about quickly the purpose of this page. So if you are, let's say having, doing a content upgrade. Okay. So you want somebody to sign up for your email newsletter and in exchange, you're going to give them a downloadable PDF. The process that they go for, they go through in a two-step opt-in, which is what normally is done these days for newsletters. There is the one-step opt-in, but in places like Canada, for example, um, they now have a law that says that you must do the two-step opt-in. The two-step opt-in, two-step <laughs> opt-in is where somebody signs up for your email newsletter. So you'll say you have an opt-in on your blog somewhere, maybe a pop-up or a hello bar, or maybe just something embedded in your post. They say, yes, I want to in, sign up for your email. They sign up. And in my scenario, then it kicks them to this page here, which is just three steps telling them you did a great job. Thank you for signing up. Now I need you to go to your email and confirm. So you click on that confirmation link. That confirm is the second step of a two step opt in. So there is the single step opt in. And if you're doing that, then you wouldn't need this. This just means that they would sign up and immediately they're on your mailing list. But most of the time these days we're using the two step. And I like this little three step. I know, sorry, two step, three step, right? But I like this little three steps of explaining to them what needs to be done. Now you may think, oh, it's obvious. They know they need to click the con confirmation, but that's not true. New people are coming into the digital space every single day and they sign up for the email newsletter and they don't realize that they need to click on that link when they receive that first email. And that link is just saying, yes, I really truly want to be on this email newsletter list. And the reason that we do that is because otherwise you can, people, bad people, or however you want to look at it, right? Could just add people to a newsletter without them saying they wanted to be. So they could go find a bunch of email addresses, maybe in like a um, workbook or something, you know, like a, a Chamber of Commerce book. And they could just enter everybody's email, put them on their newsletter, and then they could start sending them emails and the rece recipient didn't have any say in that. So the two-step makes it say, yes, I want to be there, all right? So I like to create this three-step page and I use Thrive Content Builder to do it because this way it looks really nice. You can see this is a nice little landing page. Didn't hardly take any time at all. You're going to see when I get into it here in just a second how really fast it is to use Thrive Content Builder to set these up. But with that said, if you do not have Thrive Content Builder and you do not want to purchase Thrive Content Builder, you could just do a normal WordPress page where you just type down the page and you say, hey, step one, come steal my content, by the way. And you can say step one, go to your email box. Step two, open the confirmation email with this subject line from this person. And step three, click that confirmation link. All right. So I just like using Thrive Content Builder. It's a, it's got a fee for that. So that is a premium plugin. You can use my link below. Thank you for that because that's my affiliate link. And um, it's really simple. Okay. So with that said, let's get down to it, shall we? All right. So all you do is go to WordPress and you click add new page just like any other page. I'm going to call this page. I'm going to go ahead and title this page. I'm going to just call it test uh, three step. Oops. Okay. I'm going to hit save draft because I'm not ready to publish it yet. When you're ready and done with a page, you just come back and you click on the publish button, just like any other page. But now I'm going to click on edit Thrive Content Builder. It's refreshing. It always takes in a minute to get the system going. Now, this is just like any other page on my site right now, except there is no content, but I want something that looks like this page. So what we do inside of Thrive Content Builder is you come over here where it says Thrive Landing Pages and you just click on that with your left mouse, mouse button and then you click on Choose Landing Page. Now, what is great about Thrive Content Builder, well, there's a lot of things that are great, but one of the really wonderful things, especially in this situation, is all of the templates that they have pre-designed for us. And I use their pre-designed templates as much as possible. You can design your own landing page from blank, but I don't see the point in doing that if I don't have to. So you can see there's a lot of templates. Over here on the left, you can, you can sort them by type. So I'm gonna click on confirmation page and it's gonna show me all of their confirmation page templates. And you can notice they have quite a few, which is really, really nice. For this video tutorial, I'm just going to click on the big confirmation page. I know that I selected it because it has a little green check mark. 
and then I'm going to click load landing page. Believe it or not, we're almost done. It's really that simple. But I want to show you a few important things. Okay. So as it loads, you can you probably noticed, you probably saw the yellow flash up. It's a yellow color, all right? Which is fine. I like yellow. But if you don't like that color and you want to change it, all you do is just put your mouse somewhere up in the header area and click on the color that you want to change. So just left mouse click. And you're going to notice these, these nice little things pop up here. And there's a little palette. So you just click on the palette, click on background color, and you can select, you can drag this around and get the color that you want. Maybe you want it to be blue, whatever. Or you can click on, I have some saved colors. So I can click on this color here and it'll give me that nice green, which is part of my logo. Or I could click on this, which is also another color if I want it to be bright or orange. Now, let's say that none of the, you know, you don't have any colors over here because I have done saved colors. So I'm just going to show you a quick little trick real quick. So let's come over here and let's say that um, this orange, I mean, this green is something that I want to always be able to just quickly select. All right. Let's say that I want it to be a little like that. See how you notice if I just change this bar up and down, how the color changes. And I could click save as favorite color. Now I'm not going to do that because this is not something in my color palette. And I think it'll just confuse me because I'm a simpleton. But you could click save as favorite color. And then when you open up your color palette in the future, it would be right here. All right. So there we go. We're just going to say OK and go with that. And when you have chosen your color and you got everything you want, all that you have to do, you can either click the X here or just click anywhere and there we go. And that dialog box will go away. Now we, it says logo, so it's reminding us that we want to change our logo. So all you do is put your mouse on top of the word logo, click on it, click on change image. Now you can either upload your logo, just like you normally would in WordPress when you upload an image, or you can go to your media library if you have your logo already in there and you can find your logo. You can see I have a lot of images in my media library. Here's a logo. I know this one is too small, but just for the sake of conversation, I'm going to show it to you. So I select that image. And I say insert into post. This is just like adding an image into a post in WordPress. So nothing different there. It's tiny, but that's okay. Envision that it's big. Now I like this text here. You have successfully signed up, but let's say that you want to change it. All you do is put your left mouse button on top of the text and the dialog box is going to pop up that you're accustomed to seeing inside of WordPress when you're editing a page or a post. You notice it's got your bold, it's got your colors, it's got your heading, your font size, it's got a few extra things like margin and pattern and padding. But all you do is highlight your text and say, this is my new text. And you just um, type over it. And that's it. And then we'll leave this line, but if we wanted to edit the line, we just start selecting a text and start editing and then all of this is good so step one you go to your email inbox so we're telling hey you got to go to your email inbox and here this is very important go to the inbox of the email address you just used to sign up this is important because you know people have tend to have more than one email account so it's important that whatever email address they use to sign up that they they confirm using that email address otherwise this will not work step two open the confirmation email Find the email sent to us by, and it will have the subject line. So you want to just highlight that text and change it to my, you know, whatever your subject line of the email that they will receive. Right. So like maybe it is um, your content upgrade of five tips of whatever. And then make sure you put in here from name here. This is the name that they will see that the email is sent from. So like in my case, the emails are from Renee at iteachblogging.com. So I would say it's sent from Renee. And then here, step three is click the confirmation link. This is the most important step. You want to tell them, hey, once you get this email, open it, go to your email, open the email, click on the confirmation link. If they don't do that, they will not be on the mailing list. So this is why this is incredibly important. So you want to make sure that people fully understand that. All right. So now we have all of this like we want it. And down here, there's a disclaimer because generally speaking, uh, bloggers have a disclaimer page. And it's pretty important. So all you do is you click on the word disclaimer and right here, you would put in the link to your disclaimer page. So maybe it's, you know, um, I don't know if this is my disclaimer page, but for the sake of conversation, 
blogging.com forward slash disclaimer. And then um, in this situation, you could say open in a new window, but you probably don't want them to because once they understand then what they need to do, then there's no reason for them to come back to this page, but that's up to you. You could say open a new window and you say update and the link is updated and click outside of there to cancel that. The only other thing left to do is to say right here, your company name. So I teach blogging and that's it. Now the page looks really good. Now, if you notice on my page, I have a thing here. It says, let's continue the conversation. I have started a new Facebook group and I really want people to know, hey, while we're waiting on this email to get to you, if you want to, you can come over and join our Facebook page. So I just put this nice little thing here and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so over here on the left, on the right, <laughs> yes, the right, go ahead and find a call to action. I just use style one in this situation. So when, I, when you pick a call to action, you just left mouse and hold and drag over and then release when you have it where you want it. You notice how that's green right there. So you just release that and then exactly the same thing. Just change the text. Let's keep the conversation going, right? Probably should lower that K. And then here you can say whatever you want. I created a Facebook group, blah, 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 right? Whatever you want to say to, to entice them to click on this link. Now we want to say, instead of buy it now, let's say join in. All right. So I changed the text. I'm going to select outside of there. I'm going to select on the button again. Here it's going to say the URL. I would put the URL to my Facebook group, whatever that is. I would copy and paste it in there. And I, you, know, you can either say open link in new window or not. And you can say test link and it will actually pop up. It gave me a 404 because I didn't put the full link, but I'm sure you get the idea. So once I'm done, just select anywhere or click the X to close that. And our page is good. If you wanted to change the color of this yellow, you just go to the yellow, click on it, click on the um, palette, and then click on the background color. And I could say that, and that looks of course not very good. But that looks pretty good, so I could leave it at that color. Say OK. Select that. Do it again for each one. So click on the yellow, click on the palette, click on the background color, click on my color, say OK. Select outside of it. Do it one more time. And look at that. Pretty good. Obviously, this is not very good because it doesn't say much, but you get the point. So that is how I create my three-step confirmation page. It's just a little thank you page that says, hey, you did a good job, but I need you to finish it out. And here's what you do in case you're not sure. So hit save changes. And then once you're done, you can close this tab, go back to your page, and then you could publish it. Now, I also tend to do a um, no follow on this, but that's totally up to you. Uh, no index. That's completely up to you. So you just hit publish when you're ready and you are done. Really simple, huh? I think I spent more time telling you why you need it than how it, how you got to do it. So again, if you are not using Thrive Content Builder and you do not want to purchase it, you would just, instead of going through all of that, you would come here and you'd go step one and you put in your text, step two, put in your text, step three, put in your text, and that's it. So there you go. All right, guys, I hope this video helped and blog on.